the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Through Jesus, let us continually offer up, offer, offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, which was of lips that acknowledge God's name. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Welcome St. Michael and the Wales for the service of morning prayer on this very chilly and foggy, uh, misty Christchurch morning. Let us pray together. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, you have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our life and you child shall be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the lord to prepare the way to give god's people knowledge of salvation through the through the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The psalm this morning is Psalm number 144. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hand for war, and my fingers for battle. My strength and my fortress, my stronghold and my refuge, my shield in whom I trust who brings people under my rule. Lord, what are we mortals that you should care about us, mere human beings that you should give us a thought? Each of us is like a puff of wind, our days are like a passing shadow. Lower your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains and they shall smoke. Send out your lightnings and scatter the enemy. Shoot out your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down your hand from on high and rescue me. Snatch me out of the deep waters from the hands of alien foes. Whose mouths utter things that are false and whose right hand is raised in perjury. I will sing you a new song, O God. I will sing your praises on a ten-stringed lute. And give victory to kings and deliverance to David, your servant. Save me from the cruel sword. Deliver me from the hands of aliens. Whose mouths utter things that are false and whose right hand is raised in perjury. May our sons and their youth be like well-grown saplings, and our daughters like sculptured pillars at the corners of palaces. May our barns be full to overflowing with every kind of provision. Our sheep bear young in thousands upon thousands in our fields. May our cattle be fat and strong, suffering no miscarriage or untimely birth. And may there be no cries of distress in our streets. Happy are the people to whom such blessings fall, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 10, beginning at the first verse. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead, ahead of him in pairs, to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say peace to this house. If anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the labourer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, 
even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than that town. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For the deeds of power done in you and had been, and had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But at the judgment, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. Whoever listens to you listens to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Uh, let's continue our readings from Julian of Norwich, the Revelations of Divine Love, the Long Text, Chapter 9. I am not good because of the showing, unless I love God better. And if you love God better, it is meant more for you than for me. I am not saying this to be to the wise, for they know it well. But I am saying it to those of you who are ignorant, to support and comfort you. We all need support. Indeed, I was not shown that God loved me better than the lowest soul that is in a state of grace. For I am sure that there are many who never had a showing or vision, but only the normal teaching of the Holy Church, and who love God better than I do. For if I look solely at myself, I am really nothing. But as one of mankind in general, I am, I hope, in oneness of love with all my fellow Christians. For upon this oneness depends the life of all who shall be saved. For God is all that is good, as I see it, and God has made all that is made, and God loves all that he has made, and he, he who love, and he who loves all his fellow Christians for God's sake loves all that is. For in those who shall be saved, all is included. That is to say, all that is made, and the maker of all. For all in man is God, and God is in everything. And I hope by the grace of God that he who looks at it in this way will be truly taught and greatly comforted if he needs comfort. I speak of those who will be saved, for at this time God showed me no others. But I believe everything that the Holy Church believes preachers and teachers. For the faith of the Holy Church, which I had understood beforehand, and I hope by the grace of God, gladly followed and kept in my daily life, was continually before me, and I never wished or intended to receive anything that might be at variance with it. And with this intention, I considered the showing as carefully as possible, and I saw it to be as one with the Church's teaching as God intended. All this was shown in three ways, that is to say, by bodily sight, and by words formed in my understanding, and by spiritual sight. But I neither can nor may show the spiritual vision as openly or fully as I would like to. But I trust that our Lord God Almighty will, out of his own goodness and love for you, make you receive it more spiritually and more sweetly than I can or may tell it. Let's pray. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus, 
hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Thanks be to you, O Lord. Alleluia. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, blowing through creation, no door can keep you out. Unlock our hearts, breathe on us anew, that we may speak God's words of life. With the Father and the Son, you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Loving God, your Son willingly endured agony and shame for us. Give us grace to take up our cross and follow him in newness of life and hope, for he is our Redeemer. Amen. Thank you for joining us here. It's Michael and Angels for the service of morning prayer. Please join us again at 4pm. We will continue to pray together, uh, read scriptures together, and of course hear from Gideon of Norwich. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.